right, YouTubers, Mama T here. Not sure you can see me, but I'm, uh, environmental control's coming in the morning. So I'm out here in the rain, and little Kelsey had a fit and broke my mirrors from my grandmother's antique jewelry box. Brought them out here, broke them, throwing them at her brother. And the parents didn't break her down, bring her down here, make her apologize, make her clean up the broken glass. I had everything cleaned up my yard, ready to mow. And now I'm out here in the rain picking up broken glass. We mow it and fly up and cut her eye out. So thank you, Kelsey. I love you, baby. This is on your parents. They should have brought you down here and made you clean your mess up. But I love you. I'm just upset they didn't make you apologize and clean the broken glass up. So anyway, guys. It's brown over there. I poured it my blue tarps. Now you see these blue tarps everywhere else? Okay. See all that mess on the ground everywhere else? Okay. Well, my blue tarps are off. Y'all see the blue tarps off? They're down there. Okay. I gotta put all that up in the morning because I'm done getting wet. Okay. Uh, the county's property, the neighbors, real, Scumlord Realties, the empty house, I went down there and picked up all their damn trash and raked all the way down through here. The county property, okay? See all this? The neighbors put that shit out, but they don't get nobody called on them. Uh, so anyway, every little cigarette butt, every beer can that was thrown out from drivers. Oh, Mama T got out here and cleaned it. You see anything in my driveway? All them tarps be put in the building. You know, I have Helping Hands Pay It Forward charity group on Facebook. And, uh, yeah, I just stopped and, uh, saw some clothes free on the side of the road and they were size 52 men's well i have a man in my charity group that's very poor almost homeless he can't afford to buy big and tall men's clothes size 52 honey's gonna cost you so said free i looked in them they were all size 52 six x's and i grabbed them and one of the kids said mama I'm so embarrassed that you're getting somebody's box of trash off the side of the road. I said, I'm doing God's work, honey. Uh, I don't have the money. Look at my damn roof. Now, I had to take the blue tarps off, so my house, my fucking ceilings, excuse the French, I'm sorry, I only cuss when I'm upset. But, so now my ceilings are going to fall through. I already had three, four by four sections fall out. One on my son's head. So the tarps are off. Uh, there's two panels missing in the gate. We're gonna do that. Do that one. Mm, I got it here. Pick every single bit of trash up. Okay. See anything? Got out here. Toys are allowed to be on the ground. You see how I picked them up? Okay. Now the report was made they were tarred. I'm looking at my blue tarps and my panels missing out of my front gate fences. Um, and the toys but it's not illegal to have toys so the storm broke my swing or one of the kids did i'm sure the parents won't own up to that and fix it either because that's a lot of damage been done but that's what happens when you got young single parents and i love kelsey i love drake i love robbie but i really i'm house training them really don't have time but i love them kids with all my heart and soul i'm not mad at kelsey but she had no right to go in the house and take antique mirrors out of my grandmother's jewelry box, bring them outside and throw them and break them at her brother in my yard after I had it cleaned. And I text the parents and I said, look, your daughter did this, bring her down here, make her clean it up, or you clean her mess up. And somebody's paying for it. They can go thrifting, find that jewelry box, and get the mirrors out of it. I don't give a shit. But I'm tired of my stuff getting broken. Like they said, these kids uh, go through furniture like crazy. They break everything we get. Well, they're not breaking my stuff in my house anymore. I told the dad, you, this free babysitter, this free hotel, it don't come with free maid service. It comes with free food and love. But uh, next thing they mess up, you can either sit and wait. They clean their shit up before they leave the mess, or you come in and clean it. Next thing they break, you're going to clean up the mess, and you're going to pay for it. Or, I'm sorry, Kelsey, I love you, baby. You got a lot of anger, and I understand when parents are divorced, uh, they shouldn't argue around you and do bad things that they're doing. 
and I love you and I try to keep you safe and know that you're loved and there's only love and hugs in my house we're not allowed to hit and beat each other because you know what my babies were all high risk all c-sections and God took three of them mama T had a hard time but I love my boys but that, I don't excuse them. I don't spare the rod and spoil the child. I hold them accountable. Even if I go on YouTube and hold them accountable, them boys are held accountable in public. I shame them. Now, I've got a cash app under the link uh, below. I, if you all appreciate a dollar, okay? If I can sit and pick up a box of uh, trash on the side of the road and embarrass kids with me, and uh that damn man is almost homeless lives in a tiny you can't turn around in a tuna can and i called him over here and he cried he said mama t you always look out for everybody you know but look at your house look at you know you need help where's everybody at i said my mama said tina kai too good for your own good well i'm telling you now i need help uh neighbor's supposed to help neighbors supposed to help each other not call environmental control get your ass over here and help me do a GoFundMe for me I'm a single mother and you think you're a man and you can just push over and and just I don't know but I'm a uh, sopping wet in the rain mm-hmm y'all see this I mean I am soaked guys soaked so um Gonna go in, get in the shower. So we got